Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me for today's eyeshadow tutorial. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Kitty Likes to Scratch eyeshadow palette. This is in their like smaller tin packaging. This is the first one that I'm using and I have to say I really really liked it. This is such a beautiful palette. So I'm going to start off with my transition color as per usual, starting off with Backstage Pass. And today I am doing a cut crease. I haven't done one in a while and I want to, you know, sharpen up my skills. So um, I decided to do that today. I feel like my technique guys is really easy so if you're struggling with doing like a cut crease follow my steps I think it will be really helpful I also have like a step-by-step -step tutorial that I will link up in the eye um, so yeah I'm just putting that in the crease and then blending it outwards creating that um, cut crease effect So now I'm taking the shade Hairband and I'm putting this right in the crease. This is just like a chocolatey brown, really pretty. The colors blend out really well. I have no complaints. And I'm just deepening up the look. So again, I'm putting this in my crease and just kind of like winging it out, creating that um, cut crease effect. So I know my eyes might look a little bit crazy, but you just have to trust the process and remember that anything that's on your lid is going to be covered with concealer. So just make sure your crease is just well blended and then don't worry about it, anything else yet. Um, and now we're going to go into this really pretty red shade. It's called Rock of Ages and I didn't want this like eyeshadow to be too too red so I added just a little bit and then um, yeah I moved on to a different shade but just very lightly going back and forth making sure everything is you know well blended and then now I'm going into the black this is super super pigmented guys so I only used a little bit and concentrated it strictly in the crease and that's it again anything that's on my lid don't worry that's gonna disappear in a moment and then it will all come together So have you guys tried any of their smaller pan palettes? Um, I'm really impressed with this one. I also have That's My Jam, and I'm super excited to try it, but I wanted to know if there's another one that I should get. Let me know. Now I'm using my favorite concealer. This is by Too Faced. It's their multi-use sculpting concealer, and I put pretty much like a lot of concealer right at my upper lash line. I look up and that's going to give me the guide on how to cut my crease basically. I don't use a ton of concealer on the actual lid like for the rest of the lid but I will really saturate the tip of my brush when I'm cutting out the crease because if you don't use a lot of concealer right at the tip it's going to like drag your lid and I feel like you don't get like a nice cut crease. So here at that tip I have a lot of concealer and it's just easy. My eye isn't really dragging that much and it's super easy to cut the crease. I'm telling you guys super super easy. If you use this technique let me know. <laughs> um, but here I'm just like tapping out the excess with a brush from one of the naked palettes. Nothing fancy and now I'm just doing the same thing to the other eye. But as you can see on my other eye, the first eye that I did, the crease is nice and blended it's blown out it looks pretty it's not um, patchy or anything like that so that's kind of what you have to have in in your mind like it might not look pretty while you're actually doing the cut crease but when you do this part everything comes together so now I'm taking meow which is super cute me wow actually it's me wow anyway putting that all over the lid it's such a pretty pretty bronze guys I love this shade I want to do another tutorial I swear with this color it's so freaking pretty went on my eyelids perfectly I mean it did have a nice grip onto that concealer um, so yeah it's super pretty and look at that I love that fade from the black to the brown so pretty now for eyeliner of course I'm using the Too Faced better than sex eyeliner and just doing a little wing nothing crazy and I feel like this just this is where the look for me really came together with that wing I don't know I just cleaned up my edges with a little bit of concealer as you can see here I just it's just you know if you're not good at eyeliner I swear cleaning up the edge like this it makes a world of a difference so I used a little bit of concealer to just cover up the discoloration underneath my eyes and then I also set my under eyes with my Givenchy Prisme Libre Loose Powder I'm not sure where the clip went 
but it's gone sorry so now for the lower lash line i'm using the deep dark black i'm telling you guys this is super pigmented um and i just put that on the lower lash line pretty much halfway and then i blended everything out with rock of ages which was my first transition color and i did add a little bit of the red just to tie it in with my lid I put on some false lashes. These are the Wispies by Ardell. That's what they look like. And then this is the final look. It's so pretty. I love it. It's just one of my favorite looks right now. I think it's really pretty. And I don't know. That's all That's all that I have to say. I really like this palette. You guys know how I feel about Too Faced. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.